Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we wanted to just do a quick overview of the new Snap Layouts feature in Windows 11. This was designed to help make multitasking easier and to help organize your workflow a little bit better while you're working on your computer. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so in preparation for this video, I went ahead and created an example of what my workflow would typically look like. So on my left monitor here, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see because of the screen recording, but you should be able to at least see it a little bit in the video. I'm gonna be doing Outlook and Asana. That's email and project management on one monitor. And on my other monitor, I'm gonna have DaVinci Resolve open for editing, for editing the Indigo videos, as well as Photoshop for making the thumbnails. So I'm running four applications simultaneously and I want a space for all four of them on my screen. Now let's start off on my main monitor since we know you guys can see this one. I'll start with opening Resolve. Here we can see my project where I'm currently editing the video. There are a few different ways that I can access the snap layouts. I can either hover over the maximize button and then click to select my snap layout, or I can click and drag the frame and drag it towards the middle top of the screen. And then I can drag and drop it into one of my desired snap layouts. Now, basically what I wanna do is a 50-50 split on this screen. So I'll hover over this and I'll just release the mouse. That's going to snap it onto the left side of the screen here. Now, as soon as we do that, we notice here we have all these frames that pop up on the other side. This is basically Windows saying, hey, do you want any of these windows to be on the right side of the split? And I could either pick one and click it, or I could simply click anywhere off screen to go back to my normal desktop. Now, since I clicked off of it and I no longer have that option, I can simply open Photoshop and I'll hover over the maximize button again. This time I will click on the right side. As we can see, this split Photoshop and Resolve on both sides of the page. And I can use both programs simultaneously, clicking back and forth between the two. If at any time you wanna go back to full screen, simply just click the maximize button. Notice in the snap layouts, we have a variety of different options. Let's say I want more of Resolve and less of Photoshop. I could pick this one here. And then again, I'll just click Resolve. Once this little screen pops up with all the windows, I'll click on DaVinci and that's going to create that separation. Now, if we hover our mouse towards the middle of the screen or towards where that split is, I can actually adjust this manually. So I can go left or right. I'm gonna repeat the process on my left monitor here. Not sure if you guys can see this, but again, just to sort of demonstrate the procedure again. I'll start with Outlook, I'll click it, and we'll start in full screen, and here I'll do a split, and we'll do the left side of the screen for Outlook, and here I'll pick up Asana, and then by clicking on Asana, it's already gonna be popped up here. And I've selected Asana here as well, so now I can check my emails and work through my project management at the same time. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about using Snap Layouts in Windows 11, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As we continue to grow this YouTube channel, we've seen a lot of specific viewer requests for video ideas. So we would love to know what video you would like to see. If you have an idea, drop that down below. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.